Hey guys, me Giga Camo. And here's what you've been waiting for. The Skylander tiers list. The top five. Which one is my all-time favorite Skylander battler to use? Or at least an SSA, I don't know. Which ones? You really have to be strong to make it onto this list. You have to practically have no weaknesses, or you have to have a weakness, but it's covered up by everything else. With that, let's use the final melee character that's good. Number five. Slam Bam. Oh yeah, the villainness of villains of the Giga Camo count comes Slam Bam. Just by looking at him, you know he's a brute and he's going to be hard to deal with. But sadly, I find him pretty underestimated, but yes, he does have low armor on, on Glacier Yeti. You are obvious to get to, especially since you'll have to stand around trying to form those icicles all the time, and they're hard to make anyways. But Slam Bam is really good. And don't let his scary face uh, turn you away. He is awesome. First of all, he wouldn't be this high. He'd probably be where Wham Show would be if he was just all power. But he has a boost attack, and thanks to his Wow Pal, he turns into a sled. Santa Bam. Yeah, I had to say that. I've been holding it in all day, and I have to yell it. Santa Bam. <laughs> And why I like Slam Bam? Well, this sleigh will do 30 damage if he hits you with it. Which also gives his boost a damaging thing. Plus, in water, he rides on a surfboard. How much fun can that be? He's just so much fun to use. He has so many little things that make him so enjoyable to use. And... He's just awesome. His punching attacks, while well, I admit... He's probably the second strongest. Don't let him those number his small numbers or his average ones turn you away. Slam bam down his blizzard brawler is one of the best paths in the game, if not the best. While Drill Sergeant had my favorite move set of all Skylanders. Slam Bam probably isn't my favorite move set wise, but he's still fun to use like attacks that look wise because riding on a sleigh a surfboard and summoning glaciers and punching are good not to mention on that path you get armor which fixes your armor problem by the way and you, you practically make get combos that make up for that loss of power including being able to drop a giant ice block on your foes and 86 damage is a lot to do it. And not to mention Slam Bam's attacks. For his first combo, he turns all four of his fists into a giant ice mace. <laughs> Outclassed again, Wham Shell. And he throws it. And basically, you can do some pretty good damage. And not to mention, he has a Yeti spin, which gives him somewhat of a boost attack, but seeing how Slam Bam already has a boost attack, it isn't going to be like Hot Dog in the next game. At least, um, or at least in uh, Giants, where you need to resort to a combo to do a boost attack. But he has one, and he's very fast, very powerful. His Wow Pow helps everything he lacks. The only problem is, while Slam Bam basically has the defensive skills as a tank, and he can just about wreck every Skylander in the game thanks to his armoring, which Voodoo and Stealth Elf sadly lack. His B attack really isn't useful, and if you can get it off, good job. Your enemies will be stuck, and you can slide over and punch without them hurting your fun. Slam Bam is fun to use, he's powerful, and he's my favorite brute, basically. Four arms and four times the fun. You're a good villain, Slam Bam. And your gameplay will always be remembered. Even if you might even if you're not going to be in Swap Force. Number four. Okay, I'd go and ask a quick question before moving on to number four. 
have any of what was your first Skylander ever saw? Trigger Happy, Spyro, Gilgrunt, Drova, Terrafin, Eruptor, Stealth Elf, Boomer? Did Nope, mine wasn't that. But did you ever have your first Skylander turn out like the way you wanted it to? I'm not sure if you guys did, but this my first Skylander ever saw turned out the way how I liked it, and I'm glad of it. Number four, Double Trouble. Okay, Double Trouble is still my favorite Magic Skylander, and it's going to be a while till he's not longer. Double Trouble was the first Skylander I ever saw. I don't know, when looking at the poster at Toys R Us, I spotted the Tiki Man guy, and because on Skylander.com, uh, when you go on to the, the few characters, it instantly brings you in the magic um, category, or at least until they changed it in Giants. But then they changed it to keep going to tech, but whatever. Um, and uh, Double Trouble, I spotted him yet again, I guess because the Tiki Mask easily stands out. Double Trouble should never be underestimated as a Skylander. And he fixes stuff that I really like. First of all, yeah, he is low, which turns him off in the Bower Arena, especially since his Soul Gem is now useless. Thanks to them covering the hole, you can walk on water as well, so... Sadly, there's no use for slant, uh, Double Trouble's Soul Gem. But do you care about that? He is awesome. First of all, let's look at his power. He's good on both paths, to say the least. Personally, me, while I do like my staff, like, all cool and stuff, and my eyes going big while using the staff, and my chain magic bombs together, that's really good. And plus, uh, Double Trouble's Wow Pow, which lets him um, hit three opponents at once with the staff. Well, I like that. Um, I like also summoning my doubles, which I see as a lot more better version of Sonic Boom's babies. Well, Sonic Boom's babies, they basically hatch out, and you can basically do stuff with... They'll attack for you with low damage numbers that can add up fast. The double Trouble trades that for his doubles, moving somewhat slower, but them exploding and doing really good damage... Especially if you choose Conjure instead of Chandler. Basically to put a flying, hovering Tiki Man, Tiki, tiki Man, without any feet that hovers, that can make doubles larger than him, that rocket into other enemies. Plus, in story mode, any enemy that you defeat will become a double, so you can... Make a whole room of doubles if you want, and they all explode. And I really like the feature, everything that Double Trouble will sing or say, the babies try to mimic, much like Sonic Booms will do, but personally, me, I like the doubles more. If you saw the Sonic Boom at Tree, you know that I don't like the babies. But that didn't count towards anything else on the tiers list. Both Skylanders are good. I love Double Trouble to no end. And I sadly, we sadly won't be seeing him in Swap Force. I was actually kind of surprised that Voodoo wouldn't be in. I thought Wrecking Ball would. Considering how many more Voodoo sold than Wrecking Balls. Ugh. Kidding me. At the time, Wrecking Ball was everywhere. But nowadays he's so hard to find and his fan base is for some reason huge. I guess that's because of Pop Thorn, but later, I guess, with them. Double Trouble is good, and you should never underestimate him. If I use any magic scalander, it will be double trouble. And watch out. My doubles army will crush you instantly. And not to mention 44 damage. For a charged up rocket barreling double is pretty good. And now into the top three. These next three are the top three battlers. I love using them and I use them to the point where they're unfair. 
and I just love them. All of them. Number three. Uh, wow. I'm starting to lose my voice a little. Number three is Zook. Being the bazooka man he is of the whole Giga Camo account, his bazooka is awesome. Well, during your playthrough of Zook, you'll most likely be using his A and his Z attack. Never your B attack, but the Z attack, um, while the, uh, while the bazookas go up, he shoots pineapple up, he can launch up it straight as well. And the strategy I thought with Zook was summon the mushroom or plant things, then fire upwards. You can do that, but personally, I found a much better way. If you chose Floral Defender over Octillery Man, which is probably what you did anyways, thanks to the internet, Zook, while well, he is kind of slow in the battle arena, he becomes a monster and definitely the best character battle-wise. Um, because Zook's cacti is so good, it's like playing co-op with yourself. You launch in the bazookas while player two, the cacti, will hit them. Will hit the enemies for you. By the time they come out of Zook's cacti minefield, they should be either in the red of health or they should be halfway or past half. Or lower than halfway. Meaning you can f then sprout some more cacti, then slowly wander onto the other side of the field and repeat strategy. Sadly, if someone gets to Zook, he's going to have to resort to his B attack. Because Zook is pretty much hard to, to run away because he's slow. But Zook's minefield of cacti doom is one strategy you should never underestimate on the battlefield. And, yeah. These, this is, wow. Zook's cacti will be even more fierce. And, even with his wow power, which lets you control in sort of a bouncer way, he's still good. While it is predictable, it's still a good touch to spawn cacti. And, sadly... The top, t I decided to make a list for the top two since we're kind of running low on time. But this is me, Giga Camo. And if you can guess uh, which one is my number one, I don't know. But yeah, it's that Zook is that good, and you should never underestimate him in the battle arena. And I guess that's it. This is me, Giga Camo, and see you in the top two.